Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to attach, or how I attach, the binding to the mask. This is the mask, and I've made bias binding in a contrasting fabric. Um, so first of all, you need to find out halfway, oops, halfway along the binding. So I'm going to measure that out, roughly, is that exact? And then pin it to the front of the mask, and until the front and the back, because the front hasn't got a... Uh, the front, the back's got a, a hole in it, and the front hasn't. So I'm going to pin that halfway along the front of the mask on one side, and then on the other side, again about halfway, and pin it on there. So now I've got a rough guide as to where I'm going to attach the mask to the ties. Now I sew, because I want, it's easier to sew um, with the fold coming downwards, so I'm going to start with this side, put my pins in very well, have I? Um, and I'm going to put the binding under the foot, fold the ends in, yeah, fold them in, double the binding over, so you get a secure end. Can't go so very fast. If I sew any faster, the light bounces up and down because I'm on a folding table. Right, so I've got to about where the mask is going to fit into the binding. There's my pin, take the pin out. Insert the mask into the binding, getting the folds all sorted. And I'm just going to sew down the first bit of the mask and double back over it to make it nice and secure on that because that takes quite a lot of strain that point. Now I could have trimmed these little bits off but I can also trim them off afterwards or they're nasty little stray bits of thread you get on the end of the, of the mask. I'm sewing down, going along, come to the bottom, back stitch over the join and all the way along to the end. My light's disappearing again. <laughs> Sorry about this. Get to the end, turn the end under, tuck it in if you can, sew to the end, pop a bit of waste on, back stitch, sew off the waist, snip off the waist, go to the other end, snip the waist off there, and now you've got your mask. You need a trim. Now is the other side and I always find I get the other side uneven. So you can when you get to it try and measure them up to each other that works fine or you can sew it with the binding the other way so you turn your binding for this one you sew your binding with the fold to the left as opposed to the right. Now I find this way is quite good uh, so I fold my binding and instead of folding it as you would normally with the fold to the inside of your machine you fold it with the fold to the outside of your machine and you just insert the mask the um, the mask into the binding in the same way. It's just that you're sort of sewing backwards. You can do, do whichever way you like. I quite like this way because um, it's not a complicated binding. It's just straight across. It's not like you're trying to get a curve or get into the neckline or something. You have a lot of stuff under the, under the arm of the machine. You've only got the mask to put on And I find this way quite good. Then when you get there, take your pin out. Never sew your pins, which is what I usually do. Um, pop your mask into the binding. And again, if you want to, at this point, you might want to trim these off, or you might have done this before you started doing all. Or if you're sewing. If you're a good sewer, I'm untidy sometimes. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so then your mask in, fold it over, you can double check if you want but it should, this way, it should work out to be about the right size which it's going to because it always stretches a tiny bit as you sew down, and sew down your binding, whoops I've gone off a bit there, double stitch there and now you're off on your straight bit of binding. Turn the end in, and I find one of these little tools is really useful, a little awl. You can just hold that in there with the awl. 
and run it off to the end without catching your fingers in it. And go back, put a bit of waste on the end there, and so on for waste. You snip that off. I've made a dog's breakfast of that one, but never mind. That's the principle of doing it. And then trim your waste off. And you've got your mask done.